Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic TV. It's Owen here and we've got Alison and Daniel with us in the studio. Tonic TV, it's your wake up to Sunday morning in a crafty way. Now the show is jam packed full of demos, tutorials and inspiration and it keeps you up to date with what's going on or has gone on at Tonic Studios during the week. So first of all, let's find out what's coming up this week. First up, we'll be showing you all the deals that are available on the store this weekend. Next, we'll have Ali showing us the first tutorial using Tonic Craft Kit number 33. Jody will be showing us the magazine, which is available now on the Tonic Studio store. Hello, so first of all, we're gonna go through the weekend bundles that are available on the store this weekend. So they start at Friday, our weekend bundles, and they usually go all the way until Monday afternoon, so around 4 p.m. So there's special deals, often massive discounts as well, and this weekend's no different. All the bundles as well, they go perfectly with the magazine, which is available now on the store. So Tonic Craft Kit magazine issue, uh, number 11, so the card making collection issue 11, that's available on the store. So um, yeah, we're gonna go through the, the bundles first of all. So first up, we've got a classic card bundle here for you. And this is a seven pack uh, classic card bundle. You've got seven different shades there. There's 10 sheets in each, so that's 70 in total uh, sheets you're gonna get there. And this is available at a big 50% off. You can see the tones there, wonderful warm tones. Um, you go from the reds and your pinks all the way to the blues and the whites as well. So yeah, that's your first bundle there and that's available at 50% off. The pricing should be on the screen for you as well, just to confirm. And next up then, we have got a speciality paper bundle and card. And our speciality paper and card are really distinct designs and textures of yeah, paper and card. You've got a more thicker card here. So this is the sort of difference that we're talking. What's your SM? Are they uh, 230. So 230 for the card and then on the paper 130. 130. So there you go. So you'll see some of the designs uh, maybe up close. Um, beautiful wave texture on that one. Uh, a floral there. So they really are wow sort of statement pieces on your cards. People will be like where did you get that card from? I, I'm, I'm sure they will. Uh, and there's beautiful designs and all. You can see all these on the website as well and find out. But in total there, you're gonna get seven packs um, and there's five sheets in each pack. So that's again, 35 sheets in total. So that's your speciality paper and card bundle. Uh, and I said, yeah, that is 70% off. So that's a, a brilliant bundle there. Next, we've got a drop bundle for you. And this is a bit of a, a mixture, this one. So you've got your Nuva drops, your classic sort of glossy Nuva drops, vintage drops there, and you've got a glitter drop as well uh, in the mix too. And yeah, if you know Nuva drops, they create wonderful embellishments. You did the nice phrase, you did, what was it? Um, self-leveling self drops. Yeah, self-leveling drops. They create really pretty embellishments if you want to add the finishing touch to your project. So yeah, well worth a look uh, if you haven't got any Nuva drops. And this is a really cool selection of just Pinks, again, warm, pretty colours are available. Very girly set. They are girly set. I think all of the bundles, they, they've got they quite a girly theme uh, this week. But um, yeah, you can like pinks and things if you're a guy as well. And you can. You can. I it, never it, want to leave out the it guys. It is allowed. It is allowed. <laughs> if you like pink, there's no, you know, it is allowed. A nice salmon shirt. Always goes nothing well. Wrong with that. Always nothing wrong goes with that. Always goes well. Always goes well. Okay, next we've got um, floral ink pads. And you've got Rose Garden here, Sea Siren, and Blue Blossom. You get three in each uh, pack of these hybrid inks. And what is it about hybrid inks that makes them special? Well? Hybrid inks are good to use with watercolours as well as um, alcohol markers. So if you like to do your colouring, but you also like to use your coloured inks when you're stamping, these are perfect. Yeah. Good for colour blending. Because um, you've got a lot of colours there that will blend from one seamlessly to the other. Yeah, they're, they're in sort of colour combo packs as well. So you've, you know, you've got your gradient there already for you to have a look at. Uh, these are available as well on the store for this three pack altogether at 55% off. So really good price. On that, we've got a card blank. So a mega card blank. These are just essentials uh, that you're going to need. You've got them in whites and creams. Uh, you've got them in a 6x6 six six there. You've got them in a 5x7. And you've got them in a seven by seven. There, in each, there's ten blanks and then ten envelopes to go along with that. So all you need to be sending out, whether those are Christmas cards or whether they're just hope you're doing well cards with the times we're going through. Um, so yeah, a really good essential pack. It's always good to have. When Ali, on Ali's room, she's got on the wardrobe. You can just <laughs> pick out the ones you want. It's, it's a good go-to set to have uh, in those. And 
finally, we have got the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. Now, Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, you may have seen it before. And this colour palette, um, again, nice warm colours, I find mm. these. You've got, you've got a cooler there as well, but these are nice pinks and, and shades. I think the papers, the drops and the mousse all marry together they this do. week. They do. They are. Just lovely, uh, softer colours, like mm. softer tones. Uh, embellishment Mousse. There's an awesome uh, tutorial that we've got on the the, uh, the store as well from this weekend, just explaining embellishment mousse in depth. And that's from Galena. So if you want to take a look at that, she goes through loads of different techniques from creating ombre effects to doing sort of finishing touches to, to your other stuff as well, creating these flowers as well, these background images. Well worth a look if you just want to learn about embellishment mousse because they do just create, they're, they're a mousse medium that's create a shine and a, and a finish on mm. your project. So. Well, with a look, if you haven't uh, seen embellishment mousses before, and these are available at 60% off, so you're getting all four there for you. All right, so those are your weekend bundles. As I said, they're from Friday, so they'll be either live from then all the way. And if you're watching this on Sunday, which you probably are, it'll go, you've got until tomorrow afternoon, it's about four o'clock, uh, to place your order on those. And then they've, they've gone. So these are one-off bundles uh, where you can check those out. So next up then, uh, Alison's going to go through the brand new Tonic Craft Kit 33 and show you the first make. Uh, that we have using it. So you would have seen the unboxing on Friday and you can watch that back if you haven't seen it already where we show you exactly what's in it and that's available worldwide now, the kit. So if you place your order now, whether you subscribe or you're a quarterly uh, subscriber or you've purchased a one-off, it's going to be dispatched uh, the 1st or 2nd of July um, but we're going to show you the first demo and there's going to be more demos from all your favourite crafters throughout the month showing off this awesome kit. So I'll, let's take it away. It's um, yeah, White Wonderland is the theme and it's festive friends. It certainly is. So this is the card I am going to make for you today. So it's a little bit of an easy cake card. I don't want to make any complicated folds or anything like that. It's very, very easy. So where do I start? All the colour scheme all comes to you in the kit box. So I've started off, I've used the main outer die. So that's this one. And I've popped it over the fold of a card. So we end up then with your folded card ready for you. I've done that twice. Then with the second one, I folded the front in half and the back in half. So we're going to be making, uh, I gotta think now as I'm doing this one. We're going to end up almost with that shape. So it, it reminds me of a little bit of a zigzag lane. That is the shape that we are going to be needing. But I'll show you all that later. Okay, let's make a start. I'm going to start doing the insert. So on the inside, I wanted to add a little bit more detail. So I've added in this little die cut. I know I have, oh, I have got tape here. Thought I'd forgotten tape then. So in the die set, you have three of the small, almost like an arch window. One is a plain edge, one is a scallop, and one gives you a dotted effect. And that's the one I wanted to show you. Because it may be the one that you think, hmm, I don't know whether I'll use that one. And I want to show you how valuable this is. It just adds a little bit of detail without going over the top. So I'm just going to bring the machine around here. So if it's the first time uh, have you seen a Tonic Craft Kit and you didn't see the unboxing, what we're using today is it's a box of goodies subscription box that you receive every month um, or you can buy that as a one-off if you just want to test it out. And it's got everything you need to create projects. It's got exclusive die set you're not going to see anywhere else. Um, it's got a exclusive stamp set and a stencil. And we mix it up every month with different items that are in there and they're all set around a theme or a colour palette. So in this case, You've got this white Wonderland, which is our newest trend, um, which is the first time you've ever seen this brand new trend. There's these ice cool, you know, tealy sort of colors, um, turquoises. These are what's available. And uh, yeah, you get all those nouveau products in this. So in this case, you've got drops, you've got expanding mousse, you've got embellishment mousse, you've got uh, glitters in there too, you've got blending daubers. So when it arrives, you just get started and enjoy your craft now. So yeah, it's a, it's a great box too if you haven't even heard of it or started before, well worth a look. And this is number 33. So there's my lovely little dotted pattern. So if you wanted to use a stitched effect around this, your dots are there ready to do your stitching. 
I'm right up against the wall here. That was the reason I had to run it back and forth twice because I didn't have enough room. Well, we do, so, we're doing all right in this mocked up studio, this change up. Dan rearranged it for like, he said, I think I've worked it out. I think I've worked <laughs> out this whole COVID thing. He sorted, and he sorted a little it. bit of juggling for everybody. And he solved it. it, yeah. So we just, we're just we just on the other side of the room with the splits of, you know, for social distancing and things. So, yeah, I think, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it anyway. Hopefully you're enjoying Tonic TV. Any recommendations that you'd like to see in Tonic TV, um, features and different things like that, um, yeah, let us know and we'll include them as part of the show because we just add in and, and yeah, having a play with it every uh, every week to see what, you know, what works for you guys. So there's our little pattern with our bells this time. I used the baubles on the first one. So this time I thought I'd show you the bells. So they, I mean, you don't even have to use this for a Christmas card. This can be your wedding card. This could be your invites for your wedding. Right, so I'm going to leave that to one side. So my next bit now, I've cut my frame. So I've used the same die that we started with. And then I've cut in the pattern die. So there's my pattern die. So that's all cut in to the same card. You can see a little bit of the tape line there, but don't worry about it because I'm going to be chopping that off. So now I'm going down a size now and I'm going down to the next size and we're going to be popping that on the inside there to make an aperture. So let's glue these two together first. A little bit of glue. So don't worry about putting in the centre here because this is going to be waste card and you can reuse that then. So a little bit around the outside. If you're going to be doing this at home I would glue down all your swirls I'm not going to do it here because we're probably going to get a little bit of glue squelching because I'm going to cut it straight away if I'm gluing and cutting the same die cut I like to leave the glue to settle and dry just so that I don't get in such a mess but today is one of those days where we don't have the time so there's my die cut all stuck together. Use your smaller die now to make your aperture. So just line it up, make sure you're nice and straight on all sides. And pop your tape in place. Oh, wrong way. Nearly caught me. I'm going to move it down to the top end just so that I can run it forward and bring it back. There we are. So I may get a little bit of glue on the outside, but that can always be wiped off later. So there we go. So we have had a little bit of glue, but a baby wipe will take that off. So I want to take the centre of this out as well. This is my card blank. And I'm positioning on the side, lining up everything. And then I'm going to put this die cut, this die back in. So you can use a little bit of a pencil line, whatever you fancy. Put your die back in. I wouldn't cut all these together. The reason being is it's going to be quite thick to go through your machine. And you may find that um, you could do a little bit of damage because obviously you've got um, almost 500 GSM on the first bit. Right, try and hold your die in place, but pop it through the aperture. If you look at it and it's looking a little bit wiggly, then you can always straighten it. Or use a pencil. Use a pencil to draw your line, and then you know where you're popping it. You can have one more check just to make sure I think I'm about right. I can always trim a little bit if I'm, if I'm very much out. Oops. So run this through and move it to the bottom of my machine. And then it means I can roll it straight back. 
and that's it. If you um, if you do like choose subscribe or you'll uh, you become a, a quarterly subscriber, you reserve your kits for the future months. And so, um, like last month was number kit thirty two, and that was a memory book kit, and yeah, they weren't available from pretty much the first week just due to them being sold out so uh, well worth subscribing to reserve it uh, in, in this case you also get if you're an active subscriber 10% off everything off the tonic store apart from kits um, using the code TCK at checkout so if you are an active subscriber that's a great way to use your uh, one of your benefits of it there there we are I'm a little bit out maybe I've got this upside down sometimes you die cut not always central so I would make sure I am a little bit more central than that. But we live with it for now. There we go. So there's the front of my card. So the next bit now, we're going to pop in the inside. So I've cut a strip. This is your mirror card again, turquoise that comes in your kit. And this is going to sit at the back of my card. The reason I've put a big strip in is so that you don't get any lumps and bumps. Because if you only put a small part at the bottom, you may well get a dent above it, and it's just to get a better, a better aesthetic look. So there's that in the back. Now popping in your insert. So we're going to be gluing that to the back of the card. So all around the outside. I would pop, normally pop a little bit of glue around the middle, just tiny little bits. I mean, you were going to do a lot more than I am. Just to make sure it holds the card down, because sometimes you'll find that the card will barely be there. So press that down onto the back. There we are. Now, when you come to your front, the instinct, you can make a card where it's like that shape, but I want to make the K card, so I'm folding the front back. And that goes into the centre of the front of my card. So if you're looking at the card like that, we've got the fold there. So around the top, and around the frame, just halfway, we just pop in a little bit of glue. And that will hold. There we go. So press it right into your crease. And there's your mechanism for your card. So the next bit now we're going to do is your front panel. So I've gone with the, the die that we made the aperture with. It's exactly the same size. And I've cut it into the lovely pinstripe, the silver pinstripe. And I've gone with the lovely pearlescent blue, but I've also cut the pattern into the pearlescent blue. So a little bit of glue around the outside again. As you um, said, this is the first tutorial that we've done using the Tonic Craft Kit 33. As it's a brand new trend, white wonderland, but you're going to see more throughout the month from uh, from some amazing crafters. Uh, from our design team and around the world so um, yeah this is just you know a taster of what you can do with this kit you're going to see more of it and it's available now on the store so this is going to glue directly into the aperture that you made earlier but you're only going to put glue on this half on the outer half of your card so this part stays free so a nice little bit of glue there and then in goes my card. You may find that you need to push it in a little bit. There we go. So there is, there's your card all coming together. Obviously you're gonna leave your glue a dear a little bit better than I am you. So my next bit now, I've got the larger of the arches. So this is the die. I've used here and I left off one of the patterns so you add as many pattern layers as you choose you may want to put all the pattern layers in 
which gives you a stunning effect but you may want a slightly plainer look and just add a couple of them so pop these onto the back i love these huge uh, foam pads they make life so much easier and then we put that into the center there we go and the next bit now we're going to make our smaller layer so how have we done the smaller layer right i've done some of it ready for you so i've cut the scalloped aperture and used the tree and this is the beautiful holographic card so it picks up all the blues greens exactly what a christmas tree does and then i've used our double-sided adhesive sheets and i've put that onto the front of a card and then i cut the both together so this is lovely and sticky so put your die cut on top there we are try not to put your fingers where the adhesive is a little bit of a I've got a little bit skew if by you. But we, we're stuck now, so what I will do is just run the scissors underneath and just run off a couple of little bits. I'll do that later anyway. Just use your adhesive sheet. The, your pe the sheet that came off your adhesive, use that to press down with. And then you know they're all stuck good and proper. So I'm taking a little bit of the silver card and the Christmas tree die and I'm going to do a little bit of paper piece in only a teeny tiny bit right let's just do that I'm at the end of my board or I'll be banging the wall again so this is a lovely one if, you, if you're not sure about paper piece and you think oh it's a little bit too fiddly for me or the, paper, the pieces are too small the pieces on this are nice and big and make it easy to do. So this may be your first attempt. So bring in the die cut. And we just go in with the tree. So pop in all the pieces as you go. If you're very lucky, your die cuts will stay in the card. You're not always that lucky, but occasionally you can place your your die cut right over the top of the previous one and then just press them very very gently if you go too hard then you're going to have marks from your from your craft pick uh, as i said during the, the unboxing they 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 make lovely little the art with the lovely tag shapes you know if you wanted yes. to do that so um, you know, like that's just what you've created there. You know, you whole bunch of top, and you've got you know, a lovely little tag there for a gift or for a, on a bag or something like that. So it's a lovely tag set in in itself as well. But it you know frames everything really nicely. So you'll see all those scenes in the the paper piece in that you've done there. And, you know, you can apply that that method to the other scenes that you've got in the in the box as well. It's a good shape for a tag for a bag, actually. Mm. If I've any of our more recent tan bag die sets or anything like that, yeah. or the Belgravia set that was available last weekend, uh, this is a, this is a great set. There we are. Sometimes when you press on top, they don't actually go exactly where you want them. So sometimes they need a little bit of a nudge. So I'll just pop the last couple of pieces in, and then we're done. So that really is a quick. A quick little bit of paper piece in there because as I say sometimes it can take a little bit of a, a laborious task to do yeah, last one and then it's not very often I get to do a little bit of glitter in but I thought I would add a little bit of glitter today so I'm going to use this piece of card just as a, a little bit of a fold Let's get rid of some of these bits because I'm not going to need them at the moment. Make a little bit of space. Now you know what a messy crafter I am. So I'm going to use this is Blue Blizzard and it's almost like a turquoisey 
like I said, it's a pool that you want to jump in. The colour is beautiful. And it is quite a fine glitter as well. So if you've got a little bit of a brush, a brush is a good idea to brush off the excess. But I didn't bring one down in here. Very foolish of me, but never mind. I've got like, there's a little Dover brush by there. Oh, I'd be fine. Don't worry, it's fine. We'd be fine. I shall sparkle all day. There we are, last bit there. So that's an easy bit of glitter in as well. There we are, I'm going to give it a Looks great. little bit of a flick. There we are. So that's our glittering done. We can pop that away. And then I'm using some of the sequins in the kit. If you think, well, I haven't got the bits that I need for this, they will be available in the shop in not too distant future. So I'm going to a little bit of glue on the top. I've possibly got a little bit too much there now. Take that bit off. I'm going to pop the snowflake because it is the exact shape for the star to me. There we are. There's a snowflake and then there's little dots where the baubles go and they are going to be my sequins. So there are different size sequins in the set. So I can I've used oops, I've lost it. I've used all the different sizes. Hang on, where's my pick? Pop the pick in the hole and then you've got a little bit more leverage then. That can go on the top. There we are. You can always wipe the glue later. And we've got another one. There's another one to go there. Tell you what, I'm going to turn it over so it's more of a little cut. And then we've got some of the teeny tiny ones. These are absolutely gorgeous and they, they fit inside the, the aperture that the die is left. There we are. And last one. There we go. So there's my little baubles. I'm going to pop a foam pad on the back of this and then we can stick this to the front of your card and then I'm going to put some some of the jewel drops on top because it is Christmas and you can have a bit of everything at Christmas there we go so because you've kept them it makes it easier then to add your jewel drop on top and they just give a lovely reflection then. There we go. And there's the last one. So if I bring the one that's dry in, they look a little bit milky when they are uh, when they wet, but when they dry, they almost just give a lovely texture and a nice little bit of a sparkle. And that's it. That's the card done. Cool. So nice easy way of making. I'm not going to move this one too much because I've got the uh, the wet drops there. So there's the finished card. You can stand up. Makes a little bit of a statement piece on the mantelpiece. Yeah, yeah. And something different to try. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's lovely. Something different. And yeah, you've got all this stuff in the in the kit to do that with. That's what the versatility of an archway and things like that. You can do all these exactly. aperture stuff that that is going on with there. Um, some really cool stuff. If you want to see all the inspiration and, and bits of cards that Ali's showing you here and now, you can watch back the, the unboxing and we go through them all at the end of that video and show you some of the other designs there. But they've all got this super cool colour palette of icy blues and whites. It's very cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very cool indeed. So, very uh, cool. That's, uh, yeah, that's it from uh, Alison today showing you the make with the tonic craft kit number 33 that's available now as i said earlier you can order now and it will be dispatched at the start of july if you're a subscriber or a quarterly subscriber already you don't need to do anything your kit is secure and you just need to wait for it to arrive and enjoy it when it does so next up we have got jody who's going to be telling us a little bit more about uh, the card making collection magazine number 11 which is available on the store now at 9.99 so take it away jody 
Hello crafters, how are we? I hope you're having a lovely day. Now, Tonic have asked me to show you the latest of the Tonic Craft magazines because they are absolutely amazing. If you've not had one before, this is your time to get your hands on one. So this here is the latest of the magazines. You know, I know that, that woman from somewhere. Now this is your craft number 11 magazine now if you've not got your hands on it yet it is absolutely packed full of all those mojo busting little tips and hints so what are you actually getting for your money you are getting a die set that's going to cut you all those beautiful flowers out and as you can see they're all three die dimensional there so all the petals will come out now you're getting a seven piece die set all in its little wrapper so that's the first hardware that you're getting you're then going to get a stencil and this is the first time that we've applied stencils into the magazine so as you can see you've got all those different bits in there mask them off use them in individually and you can see there that that is your mask it doesn't end You've then got your stamps in there as well. Now the stamps are beautiful in their own right. Absolutely beautiful little stamp collection there that you can use not only in your craft kit but in general crafting as well. So that's that. Honestly, it goes on and on and on. You've then got 16 double-sided craft papers. Now it, it is craft paper. It's not magazine paper, it's craft paper. You've got 16 double sides in there you can see you've also got all those toppers as well all those beautiful toppers all the way throughout and if you don't want to use the toppers just use the other side of the paper and you've got all those different designs in there as well it's absolutely endless it really is and it's a re it smells good as well it's a nice smelling paper you know what you know what i'm like for smelling paper but the bonus of it is you're not going to be on your own. You've also got the magazine in there. Now the magazine is going to hold your hand all the way through, giving you loads of ideas of how to do things, hints, tips, how to get the most out of your products. So let's just have a quick flick. You can see we've got all different bits and pieces in there, all different ideas. Take the idea change it to how you want it okay now this is written by our dt girls so there's no jargon in there that you're not going to un understand it literally is written easy peasy lemon squeezy so let's have a look so use a ten and a half centimeter circle die on the square card base how easy can it be literally every measurement is in there all the way through but you've got 80 projects in in there literally all those 80 projects are using your die, your stencil, your stamps, and also all those papers. So you can literally start and work your th way through 80 projects, okay? So what are some of the ideas? So maybe you are a stamper. There we've got all that beautiful ghost shadow in the background bringing in your papers incorporating those lovely papers you can see the depth that we've got on those flowers there maybe you want a bigger card of course you can have a bigger card because you've got the aperture in the back there you've got the cascading flowers going around there but look how those flowers are just hinted on the tips with glitter so the whole thing's not coloured in it's just the tips which gives it a really effective look using your papers in the collection or maybe just using the stamps on their own it's absolutely endless the possibilities that you can do with this magazine you can go clean and simple you can go funky oh let's turn that round you can go funky you can do all your backgrounds and bring in that amazing detail in bringing in those stamps honestly cut into your papers as well that's another way of getting the most out so look at that one that's been just cut out of the papers so those butterflies are part of your paper collection but look how gorgeous they look they really are tremendous i mean just look at all those so we've literally gone one two three four five six seven eight cuts and you've got that amazing 8x8 eight eight card 
in, in there. So it is on special offer, okay? So your craft magazine is on sale for $9.99. But don't forget, if you have got a TCK code for your tonic craft kits, that is also going to give you 10% off as, as well. So how would you like to play with 80 projects, a set of stamps, a stencil, and your dies for $9.99? Go on. Give it a try and I can guarantee that you're going to be really, really happy with that collection. And maybe, I know, hand on heart, you'll be buying the next one as well once you've tried it. So I hope you have a lovely Sunday. I'm going to have, have a cuppa and then I'm going to go back to work. So I shall see you later, guys. Bye. Thanks for explaining the magazine to us, Jody. And you've got demos in there, in that magazine. There's so much in there from Jody as well. So they've got other bits and pieces, sort of day in the life features, all that stuff in there, along with that die that's in there and those other bits as well, the papers and the stamps. It's, it's a great magazine. Stencils. And a stencil as well. Yeah. You get a stencil in there too. So yeah, a brilliant mag to try out and it's available on the store for $9.99. Okay, and uh, yeah, finally, what I'm gonna just talk to you about is the awesome stuff that's been added to the craft room this week. So throughout the week, uh, the craft room, first of all, is a hub of all the inspiration and tutorials that we make for our launches throughout the week in one place. So it's like a blog, and it keeps you up to date with our Create and Craft shows, our kit shows, our tutorials, designer's choice. Everything that uh, you need to know about Tonic is in this place on the craft room. Now this week we've had the Peekaboo uh, die set. They launched on the Tonic Studio store. Uh, and we had a demonstration from BB, which is a wonderful sort of floral card. And it's a kinetic uh, card, those, those, uh, uh, those Peekaboo sets, uh, really pretty. So you've got a step-by-step -step there. You've got one on from Dorney as well, which shows you the easel creators in those new uh, card shapes. So there's a heart one that Dorney's created there. There's also a video demonstration as well on the site. You've got our unboxing there if you want to rewatch that back as well. And you can find the Tonic TV shows and previous Tonic TV shows on there too. So that's it for this week uh, on Tonic TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back next Sunday for more from Alison and crafters from around the world uh, working with Tonic Studios products. So we'll see you again soon. See you soon everyone. Bye bye.